Do you think that your Battlefield 6 experience is not at the peak where it should be? Maybe your input latency feels off? Maybe your FPS is not at the level where it should be? And that's where this video is coming in. In this video I'm going to show you exactly all the settings that you need to have in order to have a perfect experience. But more importantly I created for you guys an application which is taking care of all these Windows optimizations, be it the network layer, be it the power plan, be it even the user configuration for Battlefield 6 or even your audio settings. I have everything covered in here and today I want to show this to you. So there's going to be like two ways how we're going to treat this video. First of all, I'm going to show you the tool which is doing everything automatically except the custom settings, you know, because everybody's a little bit different, like how it looks like, you know, etc, etc, etc. But I'm also going to show you how I set up everything on my PC like manually so that you can do it by yourself in case you don't trust it all. The download link for the application is down below in the descriptions. Just go ahead, download it straight from the Discord, have fun with it. But before we start, please do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button and share this with your friends and more importantly if you have any kind of questions just come to one of my live streams i'm streaming daily from monday till friday somewhere around three to four hours so feel free just to drop in ask a question in case you have any kind of question and we can fix your problems while we're streaming and if you have any kind of feedback how to improve the tool feel free to reach out to me i'm happy to improve it i will also do one for call of duty for those guys asking so just bear with me but first of all let's do the optimization on battlefield 6. so what most people don't understand is that you have to optimize your windows operating system there are certain things that you have to do on your Windows operating system if you would like to play FPS, especially more competitive. And I do understand that it's quite difficult for a lot of people to go through all the settings which they need to do, like going into the network devices, going into the power plan, going into different settings, going into the registry and adjusting all this stuff. That's why I created this BF6 optimizer. So if you want to use this tool, you have to go ahead, download it, right click, run as administrator, then you say yes, of course, and then you will get the disclaimer. Uh, I'm putting this here because people tend to be like, hey, you ruined my PC or whatever in case something's not working. Look, a lot of you guys have a lot of different PCs. Everyone is completely unique and you guys have sometimes done some stuff or somebody else has, you know, applied some configuration. And I just want to take out that I am not taking any kind of responsibility. That's the reason why you have this disclaimer. So you have to agree to... To that if you want to use the tool and once you start the application you will get a question if you want to create a system restore point i strongly recommend that you do this unless you know what you're doing i strongly recommend that you do this this way you can always revert to one of your settings in the past anyways i will not create one so i choose no uh, and then the first thing what's happening the tool is going to do a quick system check uh, in there it's just being checked okay what's already active what's not active and what you need to do is basically you just need to hit optimize system and once this is done, you will see what everything on your network interface card, for example, flow control is being disabled, interrupt moderation is being disabled, all this fun stuff, which is actually preventing you for a better experience when it comes in FPS and low latency games. But more importantly, also like mouse acceleration is being disabled. Yes, I'm playing Battlefield 6 on mouse and keyboard, so I put more like emphasis on that one. Other than this, also your power plan is being changed. So, so in my case, I got the ultimate performance plan now being activated. Of course, if you would like to go with something different like high performance, you can still use it. The application itself is trying to activate for you the ultimate performance plan if it's possible. It's not possible for all motherboards. It's not possible for all chipsets. But in, for, in my case, it's working perfectly fine. In case for you, it's not working, the script will automatically go ahead and put high performance for you. Yeah? And of course, you can go at any time and revert the changes. So every time when you go and optimize your system, we are making a backup automatically. And you have always a timestamp with hours and the minutes when it's been created. So whatever you're doing, like the first created backup is your initial settings that you had in the beginning. If, you over, if, if at any point you would like to revert it, you just simply click the backup, uh, select the backup that you would like to revert to and then hit, hit restore. And that's, that's basically it. I'm not going to do this because I like to have these settings here activated. All right. Um... Now, the next thing, what most people are really having an issue is creating a user configuration file. So Battlefield 6 is very CPU intense if you don't have a user configuration file where all your threads and everything is being correctly set up. That's the reason why I created the automatization behind it. So basically what you have to do is just like go ahead and create user configuration. Boom. And then you get one question. Uh, would you like to have this light tile CS path enabled or not? Um, I would strongly recommend that you deactivate it so, so that you don't activate it in case you're having FPS issues. If you do feel okay with it, you just go ahead and say yes, and it's, it will be activated in the user configuration. What does it basically do? Well, at the end of the day, this is responsible for the lightning inside the menus, but also somewhere inside the game, as far as understood. Uh, frankly speaking, it's not having really much an impact for myself because I'm using a 5080. 
but I know some people will have some issues. Anyways, I would recommend that you leave it in the beginning activated and, and if you think that it still needs to be like uh, adjusted, you can still go ahead and create a new co uh, user configuration and just select no. So what is this user configuration doing? Well, basically it's going through your system settings. It's figuring out what kind of CPU you have, what kind of refresh rate your monitor has and sets everything correctly for you. That, that's literally what the tool is doing. And once a user configuration is generated by the program, you get a question if you would like to back up your existing user configuration. This is only happening, if, of course, if you have one, right? So, so depending on what you select, the user configuration is successfully created and you will see exactly as well where it's being created. The program itself is figuring out where your Battlefield is installed, so this should be perfectly fine working. If you have Battlefield 6 installed across multiple different platforms such as Steam or EA, sorry, I'm not covering this right now at the moment. Maybe if somebody of you has an issue with that, just reach out to me and we'll try to implement it. Other than this, you're basically not good to go. And also to show you how this configuration file is now looking at, here you have the predefined settings. I mean, you can take them as well and copy paste them as they are. I will put the whole script, like you can download the script as well. So you, there's no secrets behind it. So you can also reverse engineer it and maybe improve it by yourself. But other than this, this is all what you need in order to have Battlefield running smoothly. You're speaking about the basics, right? We still have to do some in-game adjustments. And I'm going to show you as well what you need to adjust on the NVIDIA settings side. In the very unlikely case that your CPU is not being detected correctly by our system, uh, you will get a pop-up message which is saying, hey, sir, we can't identify your CPU or we don't have any kind of information what kind of processor count, etc. we need to apply for your CPU. Then please go ahead and adjust this manually. And we all know that audio is always a big issue. And for Battlefield 6, I figured out the best, at least for me, the best audio settings. And in case you would like to reuse them, I created also like a simple script for you guys that, which is exactly doing this. So basically what you have to do is just go ahead and say optimize audio settings and we'll just optimize your audio settings in game. It will not adjust anything on your OS. It's just for the in-game configuration. And of course you can always revert it as well. Like for example, when you go optimize, you can always revert to any other profile that you would like to. In case you get some kind of errors or the application is not working correctly for you, you will get all the errors printed here in this black box. Don't be scared. You can't ruin nothing much there because you can always revert and especially if you create a system restore point. But again, I did this like to make it more easier for those people who are not very familiar with like how to set up the CPU. But I have fun using it. Uh, I hope it will help you. And now I'm going to show you as well my in-game settings and then I'm going to show you as well the NVIDIA settings so that we have everything covered fully up. All right. Let's jump into the Battlefield 6 settings. So generally, if you use my audio settings, all this stuff, what you see right here, you know, menu uh, menu narration, subtitles, master volume, etc., tinnitus sound, etc., etc., this will be all set up exactly how I have it here. In case you're not using it, then please, I would strongly recommend that you do exactly as I have here. Uh, I strongly recommend that you use 35 as a world brightness. For me, this is like the sweet spot. You might want to... Increase it, decrease it, but this is all up to you. When it comes to the camera effects, I strongly recommend that you use these kind of settings here. You don't want to have any kind of motion blur or world blur. Uh, you don't want uh, the camera shaking amount to be too excessive. Just remove everything what you have here, okay? Have it exactly as I have, otherwise this will be an issue. Uh, that being said, let's now jump into the graphics. As you can see, I'm using like a custom setup. So generally, in my opinion, what I would like to have is, of course, the highest FPS possible. But I figured out with my setup that I have with the 5800X3D CPU and the 5080 from NVIDIA that I can easily go on the overkill. Uh, by the way, I'm playing on 1440p. Uh, so I can easily go on texture quality and texture filtering on overkill. I can go on the mesh quality on medium and terrain uh, quality on medium as well. But if you... If you're having like performance issues, especially if you have an older GPU, I strongly recommend that you put the texture quality or a CPU as well, that you put it on low or on high, not more. The same for texture filtering. Mesh quality, I recommend that you keep it on medium. Terrain quality, probably you wouldn't want to go on low unless you have a GPU which is uh, more modern, you know, let's say 7800, 7900 XT, XTX. Uh, 4080, 4070 Ti maybe even, uh, didn't try it with that one, I don't have it so I can't tell you, but other than this, remove as well the lighting quality, put it to low, shadow filtering, leave at PCSS, this is what you want to uh, keep it, and the post process quality you can put actually on high uh, or low depending on how much FPS you get, other than this, just make sure that you keep it 
as it is like i have it here like all this effects quality undergrowth quality just put this all to low because it will just drain your gpu for no reason unless you really would like to have the full experience now that we covered the graphic settings let's now also jump inside the advanced but before we do this Put the sharpness to level 60. I would not recommend that you put the sharpness to 100. It looks a little bit odd. Uh, maybe you want to decrease it. Maybe you want to increase it. This is all up to you. But I strongly recommend like 60 seems to be like the sweet spot, at least for me. Uh, now let's continue with the advanced one. When it comes to the resolution scale, please leave it at 100 unless you have a super low GPU. Then you can, you know, play there to get some additional boost. Other than this, keep all the settings which you can see here as I have it. So the frame rate limit is at 237. I have it at, you know, 236, 237, depending on how it's calculated. If you're using an NVIDIA card, make sure that you have enabled and boost activated. Analyzing, you leave it TA8. Don't do anything. You don't want any kind of upscaling technology. You don't want any kind of frame generation or future frame rendering. Performance overlay, keep it as simple. So you have always some uh, nice indicator here on the top right side. And why we don't want any kind of frame generation? Because you will get more input latency and you would like to reduce your input latency. Now, speaking about the camera settings, try to have the highest possible FOV. But if your GPU is a little bit older, you might want to put it down, maybe to 100, maybe 105, maybe even going to 95 if you feel comfortable with it. Um, the reason for this is the lower your FOV is, the more headroom you get on your GPU. So if you don't have the most performing GPU, you can reduce the field of view, let's say to 95, and increase a little bit the quality, maybe on certain settings which you like to have, in order to keep the same level of FPS. Then when we go to the other settings, weapon with field of view is of course white. All this weapon motion blur, as we already said, remove this as much as possible and make sure that you don't have the vertical sync activated. My audio settings, once again, if you use my audio settings from the application, you will have exactly the same setup as I have here in the audio. Uh, most importantly is of course, you want to have the sound system as a headphones and you would like to have the audio mode, uh, audio mixing in night mode, which is, it's a complete game changer for me. You can hear footsteps everywhere. All these other settings, like the interface or what kind of color your crosshair will have, etc., etc. This is very, like, in my opinion, very like uh, individual, and I don't want to give you any kind of recommendations because you guys should figure it out. But in case you wonder where you can find it, it's on the graphics. You have to go fully down, and then you want to go to advanced uh, uh, to crosshairs and indicators, and there you can select up different settings. This is what I selected so far. I'm going to change it more and more because I'm not feeling very comfortable with it, especially the heat color being white. This is this, this is kind of terrible. Uh, anyways, this is my current setup, what I'm using inside the game. I strongly recommend that you copy paste this if you have a similar setup as I do. If your setup is a little bit lower from a performance point of view, Make sure that you reduce the textures, make sure that you set everything on low, and then you can go ahead and try to and play a little bit around, you know, with each setting, maybe improve it, you know, increase it, decrease it, and see, you know, where is the sweet spot for you. I'm always aiming to have around like 200, 220 FPS. You know, at certain spots I have like 130, but I don't have really like a big issue when the FPS is dropping to 130 at some point, because Battlefield is such a cinematic movie, of course there will be like drops in the performance at some point. But generally I can say when I'm playing maps, I'm always somewhere around between 190 and 237. Last but not least, let's also go through the NVIDIA settings. So these are the kind of settings which I would recommend to any one of you who's using NVIDIA cards. Just actually copy paste what you see here. So you want to have the image scaling off, you want the emit occlusion to be off, you want the anisotropic filter to be application controlled, everything set to off, 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 off. Uh, you would like to use low latency mode on ultra you would like to have the max frame rate off um, you would like to use the preferred maximum performance if possible normally it's like set to normal so we would like to improve this here as well and you want to have the texture filtering quality on high performance basically just make sure that you copy paste the settings that i have here maybe in a future update of the program i will add this as well like the nvidia settings but until such time, I hope this video helped you. Make sure that you like and subscribe and have fun with more FPS in Battlefield 6.